There was this time when an acquaintance of ours was dying of cancer. Um, we really didn't know this couple very well at all. They were kind of friends of a friend and my husband had sold them some artwork. So we just sort of, they were really acquaintances. I heard about this lady and how she had, um, she had cancer and, and uh, t it was terminal. Amazing woman. Like I, I did enjoy getting to know her a little bit. This feisty lady who was not afraid of death, but uh, also not afraid to live. And so it was around Christmas time. I remember I was sitting on my bed wrapping presents and I thought, you need to give her a Bible. And then I thought, ah, that's kind of out there. Like that's, it's, it's, it's actually hard for me to do things like that. It's hard for me to be pushy. It's hard for me to make videos and talk to you about God answering prayers because even though I am really excited, but I love to talk about my relationship with the Lord and how he speaks to us and he's done these neat things. I love to talk about it, but I'd rather talk about what God has done in the past than what he's doing right now. Because right now I'm like, oh, what if it doesn't work out? This is awkward. What if they just are so offended? And anyway, I was wrapping these presents and I just, I knew that the husband was going to come over and pick up some eggs because we have chickens and we were selling eggs at the time. And the, and she really wanted to just do this organic um, diet, all natural farm fresh stuff. And so her husband was coming over to pick up these eggs and I just thought, just give her a Bible. And... I struggled with that as I wrapped. I had about a half an hour and so I went and I found a Bible and it was one that I really like. Uh, I can't re I can never remember what translation it is, but a friend of ours had recommended it because it translates really well some of the Greek phrases. And so it's uh, and he was a Greek teacher actually in a, in a Bible school. And so he recommended this this Bible. It had something to do with Phillips. I always think Phillips, but it wasn't. Anyway, I had this Bible that I had ordered online and I, I really liked it and I just felt like that's the one. Give her that Bible. And I struggled so much and so I just thought well I'll just okay I got the Bible I'll just put it by the door. Sometimes I have to do these things in baby steps. Okay if he comes and if I really get brave I'll just give him the Bible. Oh, maybe I'll write a little thing in it to her. Like maybe I'll write a note. Okay, I'll highlight some sections that might give her encouragement right now as she goes through this. And um, anyway, the husband came to the door and I just said, I have this Bible that I wanted to give to your wife. Um, I hope I hope this isn't offensive to you, but I just really felt like I wanted to do this for her. And this has meant a lot to me, especially the words of the Psalms have been very encouraging to me at many difficult times in my life. Uh, maybe I explained that there's a Psalm for every sigh. And every time you're going through something, you can find a Psalm that's, that speaks right into it. And it's so comforting. And you can pray through the Psalms. Anyway, I just explained to her that this had been very comforting to me. And I just wanted to give it to her. So... I gave it to the husband and he went home and he gave it to his wife and I kind of sweated over it like, ah, was that, is it going to push her off of Christianity because it was pushy or, you know, you always have these things. Well, I always have these things when I step out and do something like that and I just feel like, am I being too pushy? Um, but my heart is just to encourage and to just give people the hope that I have. And if I was dying, I would want somebody to give me a Bible. I would want somebody to say, hey, there is a God. We can know him and have a relationship with him. We can be loved. He has a plan. I would want that. And so that's what kind of prompts me to step out in faith and just share what I have because it's it's amazing it's hope it's right now we're going through um, isolation with the, um, the COVID-19 virus and everybody's in their homes and it's April now so we've been kind of at home for a few weeks now I have no fear I'm not afraid even if somebody in my family gets the virus and I just I know who I believe 
in. And I know that he has a plan for all things. And no matter what happens, he's going to take care of us. Whether we live or we die, he's going to take care of us. And he's just, he's right there. I can spend, when I do freak out and start to fear, I can go to him and be strengthened by him. I have a friend who's going through a really difficult time with a son who has cancer and we can support each other and pray for each other and God is near and he loves us and he's, he's got his hand over it. And no matter what happens, he holds our hand and gives us comfort and peace and walks us through. So yeah, I gave it this Bible. I had fear afterwards. I had doubts. And you know, the next day I got an email from this lady and she said, thank you so much for giving me this Bible. Actually, I'm not really religious, but I just went to a priest this week and he told me I needed to open up my Bible to um, and read the book of Romans. And she said, I, was, I went home, I looked through all of our books and I had no Bible. And I just didn't even know where to get a Bible from. Where do people buy Bibles? And she said, right then, my husband went to buy eggs and he came home and you had given him a Bible for me. She said, it just was so amazing. I was just wondering where I would get one from and there it was. And so that was so encouraging to me that, you know what, just because you don't have, well, just because you have doubts, when you have an idea to do something, to step out in faith and share with somebody, um, even though you have doubts, that doesn't mean you're not to do it. In fact, I remember I was so encouraged with my son. He said, your flesh is at war with your spirit. Your flesh never wants you to step out in faith and share truth and hope about God with people. Your flesh is like, no, that's weird. Just don't be weird. So you can almost be encouraged if your flesh is rebelling against it and you're you're freaking out and your mind is like, no, don't be weird. Almost be encouraged because when we step out and we listen to the prompting of the Holy Spirit and our flesh freaks out, that should happen. Our flesh doesn't want to listen to the Spirit. Our flesh is at war with the Spirit. So that's the story of giving somebody a Bible and not knowing that they were just wondering where they would get a Bible from just that very week. So there we go. The lady did die of cancer, but she had the Word of God in her hand. And I trust that she was able to um, draw great comfort from what she was reading. I, I believe the Spirit was very much at work in the situation. So we don't always get what we want. We don't always have people healed and um, it, able to get up and not have cancer anymore. Though we, we do pray, I always pray for that. I always ask the Lord that he would heal because he can, but we trust that his, um, well, then it gets into this whole complicated thing and I'm not going to go into what I believe about why God doesn't answer every prayer, but he doesn't. He doesn't answer every prayer the way that we would like, but we can trust that he is still doing a work that we know nothing about and he wants us to come and ask and uh, trust him.